over. Edge has won the fatal four-way. Edge has just won one of the most exciting and competitive matches I've ever seen. And you have to believe Time that to Triple H is out here to restore Edge's title <laughs> opportunity. Great match, Edge. Seriously, I'm sure you really impressed all these people out here tonight. But when you're in a position like mine, part of the job description is to be decisive and make tough decisions. Although I appreciate you busting your ass out here tonight, I also have to live up to my responsibilities as interim GM. And that means I can't just flip-flop on a decision I made a few short weeks ago. So I'm afraid you're still not number one contender material. And you're not gonna get a title shot at back. Oh, what a load of! What the hell does the game have against Edge? Oh my gosh! Edge has lost it! King, I think Edge could beat our interim general manager on up the sandwich right about now and have no regrets at all. And who could blame him? Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed that Edge has been suspended indefinitely for physically threatening the interim GM of Raw, Triple H. We just saw it right there, JR. Edge chased Triple H right up the ramp. And who knows what happened backstage? Obviously, he tried to give Triple H a piece of his mind. And I don't think that there's any way that you can claim that Triple H didn't try to provoke that very reaction in Edge. It's no secret that the R-rated superstar has a short fuse, and the game lit a hell of a fire directly under it. I don't know what Triple H has against Edge, but it's a sickening abuse of power in my view. Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler welcoming you to Raw live from Los Angeles, California. I love this town, JR. And I hope I get a chance to audition some young starlets later. Boy, you just never stop, do you, King? Personally, I'm looking forward to tonight's show. I think it's going to be a real barn burn. These superstars have been on a great match so far, JR. But if they drop the ball, these fans will let them hear about it. I don't think that's gonna happen, King. These competitors know that their paychecks come straight from the WWE fans. They're not going to let them down. Yeah, but if they don't keep the fans happy... If, if, if wishes were fishes, the world would be an ocean. But that's not the case now, is it? Because I want to know who's going to win. And nine times out of ten, it's not the superstar you pick. saying that this has been a great match so far. It has indeed, King. And I think it's only going to get better from here on out. This capacity crowd is solidly behind their superstar. Look at this. Wow. Could you be any more biased, JR? How about some fair and balanced commentary? You reversed it. a 
16-time yeah. world champion, JR. 16 times! Looks like someone's heading for the high red. He's all hired at the mail. <laughs> Here we go! Triple H is gonna reveal the number one contender for the WWE title. Well, he took a sweet time about it. Backlash is this Sunday. As you've all witnessed, I've spent the last few weeks conducting an exhaustive search for the number one contender for the WWE title at Backlash. In that time, I've examined the entire Raw roster from top to bottom, backwards and forwards, over and over. Oh, get to the point already, Shh. would you? Shh. The general manager's talking. And after much soul-searching and reflection, I've found just three letters that could possibly belong on that marquee. H, H, H. You've got to be kidding me. He's not serious. So for the sake of Raw, I'm going to pull double duty this Sunday and serve as both general manager and the number one contender for the WWE title. This is absolutely disgusting. Being Raw's general manager wasn't enough. Triple H needs a WWE title. Time to play the game. Time to play the game. This is it. The main event of Backlash. And here's the number Time one contender who just so happens the Moonlight as Raw's interim general manager. You think his last name was Ganya? It's disgusting that Triple H would abuse his power like this. But given his track record, I shouldn't be surprised. Look, JR, who made Triple H general manager in the first place? Mr. McMahon. Who built the WWE into the empire it is today? Mr. McMahon. And who signs your paycheck? Mr. McMahon, unfortunately. Right. So if Mr. McMahon puts his trust in Triple H as general manager, then you should too. You're lucky that he's on vacation right now, and not backstage listening to all your negativity. There's only so many times you can be fired and come back, you know. I call them what I see them. And if Mr. McMahon has a problem with that, who knows what to find you. Come on over, circle, I don't you ask me. Don't you forget there's a price you can pay. Cause I am the game and I want to play. Imagine preparing for a WWE title match when you don't even know who your opponent's going to be. Triple H has had weeks to scout the champion, but the WWE champion didn't even consider Triple H as a It might not be the ideal situation for going into a title match, but that comes with being the WWE champion. You've got to be ready for anything. And if you're not, you won't be holding the title for long. Well, somebody better put out that fire. Oh, man. I've been in this hole before, JR. This brings back.
back some bad memories. I can understand why, King. I can't even imagine the pain being inflicted here. He countered that, and, and now a pin! This could be it! Is that... Look, only two. Look at this, JR. Can you imagine SmackDown putting on a match half as good as this? No disrespect intended for SmackDown colleagues, but no, I can't, King.
I think this one's got all the makings of a bona fide slobber knocker. To it. I'm sure even a bunch of inbreds like yourself noticed that there was some questionable officiating during the WWE title match at Backlash yesterday. As the general manager of Raw, I'm going to see to it that... Oh my gosh! It's Mr. McMahon! He must be here to congratulate Triple H! I'm not so sure about that, King. He doesn't look particularly happy. Hey, Vince, how was your vacation? When did... Let's cut the crap, Hunter. You've been given great power as the interim general manager of Raw, but clearly you haven't used it responsibly. Whoa, whoa, Vince. All Instead right. of featuring Raw superstars like Edge and Kane in the WWE title match at Backlash, you chose to satisfy your own ego and put yourself in the match. Listen, Vince, you got it all wrong. No, you listen to me. Number one, you are hereby removed as Raw's interim general manager. And number two, I'm about five seconds away from saying the two words all these people here tonight and those watching at home want to hear. So you've got that long to get the hell out of my ring before you're the one who's going on vacation. And by God, I mean a permanent one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Germany, Frank. the site of tonight's live Raw event. And Pittsburgh has gone completely crazy for the superstars of Raw. And who can blame them? Not me, King. The Steel City's in for a treat tonight. And I can't wait to get started. I can't believe he countered that one. It's like he read his opponent's mind. What does he think he's doing? He's just showing off for the crowd now. He's wrestling the match his way. And I think it's going to pay off more my words. Look at him feeding off the energy from this capacity crowd. He's unstoppable. You can't ever count on these fans, JR. They're fickle, and they'll abandon you in a heartbeat. I ask you who you want to win this matchup, JR, but it's been pretty obvious since the start of the show who you're pulling for. I'm trying to remain as objective as I can, King. Quite frankly, I'd rather see a good together matchup than see a protected superstar win or lose this thing. Oh, come on. Everyone knows you play favorites. You're always trying to kiss up to the fans by talking up whoever they're cheering for. 
I've never been a kiss up in my life, King, which is more than I can say for some people. I call him like a season. And I'm trying to climb it up. The turnbuckle isn't there. It's all the ways you could come down. Oh, man. I think we're about to see a move here. <laughs> Thank you.